Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, another interview. Um, you would like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Chortle. Uh, it, she, thank you. Uh, I apologize. And I, I do battle for the respect of her body. And that's it. That's all, that's all I do. <laughs> I vo- voice impressive. <clears throat> battle for cautions McGriddle. Um, and that's all that's out right now that I do. But that's fun, I guess. All right. So, um, what is your inspiration uh, for Battle for the Respect of Robotti? My inspiration for... Okay, this is a funny story. I don't think I've ever told it publicly, pu- sorry, publicly before, but the reason that Battle for the Respect of Robotti exists is because I was in Vegas and my flight got delayed for, like, the entire day. And we had nothing to do with stay in the airport. I was... 13 years old when this is happening so i i wrote a script and i did the intro the entire intro in the airport and on the plane back to my state which is not in vegas so and a lot of the characters are based off of things that i saw from vegas like airport security checkpoint for example he was made because my flight got delayed and i was really upset so i made a character based on that and even though he has like nothing to do with airport security at all and mouse mousing was also made because i was Mm -hmm. in vegas because vegas there's mountains all around you so and we were mostly staying in arizona and utah like those two states not much vegas we stayed we stayed in vegas for a day either way mousing was made because of that there, all the other contestants were, all of our were based off of a joke that was in my old friend group, that which was the OC squad, which is defunct, unfortunately. But no. everyone, everyone there is still, everyone's still cool with each other. Like, I got most of the gang back together for this new episode six. I mean, there's a few that just didn't want to for personal reasons, but it's no like bad blood between anyone, which is great. Because usually that's what happens with like these friend show groups that some big drama happens and like everyone splits up and then you can't do the show anymore because everyone's all split up. Yeah, that happens a lot, and that that kind of sucks, you know. Because I mean, it it sucks obviously. Um, it sucks for you and it sucks for the show and it sucks for everybody else. You know, that wasn't even the, the reason the show got canceled. It's a very stupid reason. I was, I was 13 years old, but the reason I it got canceled was... It was half motivation and half that I just really wasn't on the computer as much as I was when I was making the show. Like, I was I was getting these out, like, month after month. So I I spent a very, spent a very unhealthy amount of time doing this, like, constantly. With this episode, it took four months to do so only i didn't it didn't people are saying it took five years four years to make this one episode people think it was written in like 2019 it wasn't i wrote it by myself in march of this year and i got all the voices done that same month i didn't even animate for two months because i was in college at that point and i was animating most of the episode is animated by me so i was just i would spend like a day or two on each scene and while I was doing online school because for for extra credit. <clears throat> All right. And we'll get we'll get on to the uh, most recent episode in a little bit. So I I have watched the show for like the first a lot of these a lot of this like a lot of these interviews. I I, I wasn't I haven't been in the OSC very long. And so I'm watching a lot of these shows for the very first time. I don't even know what the heck is going on 90% of the time. If you could tell me what is... I, 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 I don't even know. Could you tell me, like, what the heck is going on? Are you talking about, like, the old episodes or the new ones? Yeah. It's like, the, the old five? The uh, old five, yeah. <laughs> okay. The first episode... I think is the most obnoxious. It's not the it's not the worst episode out of the five. I have a favorite and I have a least favorite. I'll get to that. But episode one is a lot of inside jokes, which is not very good for making a show because no one is going to get it 
only a select few people. There's a joke in the first episode where I say, where my character said, or no, frame by frame says that some character has demon mode on his phone. And then I go, ooh. But the joke of that is that demon mode is like some inside joke within the group that if you turn, if you go into your phone settings and invert the colors, I think it's like some accessibility feature, but there's a feature where you can invert the colors on your phone. So everything's the opposite. And we called that demon mode. And that was just, that was it. I was 13 years old. I thought it was funny, but I wasn't thinking very much. And the thought process for all the other four episodes was, what if this was into, what if this happened in the show? Like episode two, what if Fortnite was with Robotti? Episode three, what if Epic Man had an Epic Girl variant? Episode four, what if they what if they made like a Minecraft animation? Episode five, what if you know, I don't even know what happened with episode five. That one is like my least favorite out of the five. <laughs> and my favorite one is probably the Fortnite one. Just because I think it's funny. I, I think there's a few parts that I still find funny. But I'm not I'm not ashamed of the first five. I might seem like I am, but I'm not. Like I, I think they're good for the time that they were released and i'll probably think that with the six episode but i mean i'm an adult now so i i think the six episode is pretty good so i don't i think it'll age better because there's not like fortnite jones jonesy doesn't like walk across the screen it does, it, and then leave. i've noticed that i've noticed it does not age well <laughs> a lot well i mean I, I don't want to say that the show didn't age well but a lot of the a lot of like the references and all that, like Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like the character of Fiery Senior, which is the one with the underwear. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, there's a lot of reasons why that just doesn't doesn't age well. I mean, mainly because it, I I don't think anyone really finds the fiery underwear as funny as people did in like 2018, and even then, whatever you know, and then. Obviously, with the new information coming to light from, like, who made the fiery underwear, there's a lot of controversy there. So I think it was the best decision to just get him out of the show. What was the controversy? Instead of well, the controversy, I forget who it was. I don't know the name. And I I won't say it because I don't know it. But mm -hmm. they were, they got caught. The person who made the fiery underwear image got, like, called out for something really bad. Like, some... Something not age appropriate. I don't. I don't know if I should say it on. It doesn't matter. In the interview. I don't care. I mean, if you're. It's on, if, okay. Did they pull a Gary? <laughs> Some, something like that. Something like they had like right, a, right. a diaper thing. Yeah. I. I won't go any further. <laughs> so, uh, you made one of the first joke shows and uh, arguably pioneered the genre. Why did you decide to do something contrarian instead of doing something normal like every you know like a competition show okay back in uh december i i got adobe animate for the first time and i was actually making a show like an actual genuine show it was gonna it was gonna have assets instead of the hand-drawn style that i did for battle for the respect of body it was called prepare for the worst and i i'm so glad that never saw the light of day because it is just it's just terrible <laughs> I was, I just turned 13 at that point. It's lost so media. It, lost media. All of it's lost media, unless it got, like, re-uploaded by someone, which I'm going to tell you right now, it probably was by someone. But I had about, like, a thousand subscribers, so maybe. I don't know. I mean, the optical and the illusions, like, not, like 30 episodes were recovered. Or something. Sorry? I don't know. The optical and the illusions, like... Like, 12 episodes were recovered. There's, like, this channel where it's, like, the graveyard of YouTube. There's a lot of re-uploaded object shows on there. <laughs> I think that is... I think that's... I think it's good to have, like, lost media, but I think if the creator doesn't want the the media to be up there, then the re-uploader should obviously, like, delete it. But well, if, if they're fine, yeah. then I think it's good. In my, in my personal opinion, like, you post videos to the internet knowing for a fact that it stays there forever. 
And so if you take it down, then, you know, you kind of involuntarily agreed for it to, like, stay there forever, regardless of, you know, whether you want Yeah, really, that, in some cases, there's some, just, you really just can't do anything. Like, with these, uh, yeah. these teapot leaks, like, oh my gosh, I got spoiled because... When I was looking at BFDRR6, obviously Teapot 6, it's the same number. It was coming out near the same time. So if I look at BFDRR6, I get a lot of Teapot 6 leaks. And I, I, it's just so unfortunate. Like, sometimes you just can't do anything about it. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe, like, leaks should be... Leaks aren't cool. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't like the leaks either. I, I wish I didn't... I wish, I wish that I didn't, wasn't, like, in the thumbnail. Like, it had, like... The two characters who eventually got out in there. Mm -hmm. But what can you do about it? Yeah. So, um, there are two subtitles for Robotti. Uh, the YouTube one and the uh, video one. The YouTube subtitles and the video subtitles. So why? What? What? Why did you? Why did you change? What did you? What did you do? See, that wasn't me. Like the YouTube uh. subtitles were done by someone that was in the OSC squad I I think it was Jordan I I don't I don't, I don't I don't talk to them nowadays so I don't know what the what he goes by but that's it was all it was all Jordan's doing like did Jordan you, did uh, did you um hmm? did you um talk to him about it um I mean I was I was fine with Jordan like, Putting like silly robotic subtitles in the closed captionings, and it, someone made a tweet about it this year, and it got like three hundred likes, <laughs> and that was pretty shocking that people like were actually looking at the old twenty eighteen episodes and still like saying, "Oh, I wish it came back." And it, that wasn't the reason why it came back, but the reason why I'll, I can explain why it came back if you want. Um, and we'll get there in a little bit. Okay. But, uh, Continue with the question. Um, sorry, what was the question again? I I just went on a um, ramble. And there are two subtitles for Robotti. There's two. So you're just, you're talking about like the the YouTube subtitles and the yeah, yeah, the yeah. ones that are on the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's two. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know where to go further with that. I, I, don't, don't worry so, about it. I, was, I thought you had more. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Just mm -hmm. someone did it, and I thought it was funny, so we kept it, and people remember it fondly, which is good. Why did you make the elimination scene so dark? Oh, <laughs> okay. There's this game called <laughs> Danganronpa. I, I was really obsessed with it back in 2019, 2018, not 2019, but. And in Danganronpa, the 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 gameplay is that like someone gets like murdered, and you're like the main character. You're the main character. You have to like figure out who did it, and like the the the, sc the school like headmaster, his, his name is like Manakuma. He would like take the person who was guilty of the murder and like do this elaborate execution on them. And I thought that was like an interesting like idea to do. So. I, I did that for Brobody. I did it for Epic Man and Tweeny. Um I didn't do the eight ball one, but it was it was it was all entirely based on Danganronpa. I am not like into it as much as I was back in twenty eighteen at all. So there's a good chance that next episode, episode seven, there's not gonna be anything like that. And I'm going to figure something else out instead they might the eliminated contestants might not even get like executed like that they might just stick around that's what i want to go with honestly because I, I i like i like, I like everyone's i like those but the executions yeah they were like really I, dark for like no reason which is like i thought happy of shell, like yeah let's be friends and then it's just like some saw trap execution <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I I thought of a pretty good alternative. I think I'm going to do a dream sequence every episode. That's that's sort of what I'm going with now, mm -hmm. instead of an execution, because people like people like the dream sequence. So I am going to get the same guy who did the New York accent, and we're gonna do more. 
All right. So there was a pretty long break between episodes five and six. Uh, what happened? <laughs> um, I was 13 years old and I got grounded for my laptop. <laughs> That's literally why the episodes never came out after that. And you got grounded? For about like a year and a half, I think. Oh my god. It wasn't even for anything major. I was I, I, I was taking food up into my room. And that's like a rule in my house that you can't do that. And it must have been like a bad day for them. Because I they took my laptop under like... They just they just took it and they were like, we'll, we'll give it back when we think it's right. And like a year and a half passed. And at that point, I was like, I don't even want to do object shows. So, I mean... This is good because I wanted to spend a lot more time with, like, my friends and stuff. I was spending a lot of time on the computer, which is not, it's not good. You have to balance really, have, really have to balance. And if if it's like some, if it's your job, then I guess I understand. But you still have to have a balance, I think. Yeah. But four years passed. I I made a trailer during then, and it's. <laughs> I think that is like the funniest red herring. I have ever done in my entire life. <laughs> like, none of... Okay. All right, are we back now? Are we good? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're good. <laughs> Sorry, right. so you were, you, were, uh, you were saying about the balance thing? Right, so... You need to have a balance between doing school... I mean, it's not school work. You need computer work, really computer fun, but also, like, enjoying... Like everything around you, because you really just become like miserable. It's like very unhealthy to not go out and like enjoy yourself. Like I don't play World I, of Warcraft. <laughs> enjoy the World of Warcraft. I said don't play but, World of Warcraft. Oh, I I have never played World of Warcraft. Maybe that's maybe it's a good thing because that just played of War. Have you not, you haven't even heard of that game? No, I've heard of it. How, I've heard of like. I was about to say, like, how have you not heard of World of Warcraft? It like destroyed lives because people <laughs> would like play it for so long. In relation, and South ended. Park did an episode on World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, South Park is funny. Pe um, people say it's one of the best episodes, but I, I just think it's okay. But it's a good episode. Um. Do you um. You were also talking about the trailer? About a trailer? Oh, right, the trailer. Yeah, everything that happened in the trailer was... It was all a red herring. People ask me this all the time. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like a Q&A video later on. And I'm going to address this. But the BFDR 6 Plus was never going to happen. Like, it, people say, oh, it's like an, it's going to be like another series coming soon. It's going to be like... <laughs> An adventure beyond all worlds is gonna be mm -hmm. the most insane object show ever. But I, I did all of that. Like none of that was like scenes from like the episode. It was all just one flash file, one trailer. That's all that was gonna happen. But there's one scene from that trailer that I want that I do want to put in the, then the the just the BFDROR like the new BFDROR stuff, and it's going to be the one of the guy driving. <laughs> That one scene of the guy driving. That's what I want to put in a future BFDR or episode. Either that or mm -hmm. Syringe pulling the sword because I think that goes so cold. Do you ever want to do like a more serious type of object show? Like where it actually takes itself seriously and stuff like that? You're not. Um, I don't know. It just depends if like. I want, I still like want to do object shows after that. I mean, like doing like one season of an object show, it's like, it's like hard work. I mean, people people like take a long time mm -hmm. to complete a single season of an object show, and I'll be yeah. When this I'll series ends, you, I'll probably. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be surprised if any object show goes by episode five. Goes past episode. That's five. true. We almost didn't. <laughs> I mean, we stopped at five. We came back at six later, but it's 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 a lot. It's a big investment, and I I. I probably would have still gone, kept doing it if, you know, events didn't happen back then. But I'm kind of glad that it took a lot of years off because if I was doing object shows for my entire teenage years, I don't know. I think that 
would have lost my mind by now. Plus, I, I think now that I'm an adult, I have have a better idea of what to like put in the in the show, while still like keeping it like silly like it is still, but also have like I wanted to. What am I saying here? I I just wanted to have it planned out instead of me rushing it out every month for like something. That is not great. <laughs> um, if you were to make like a more serious object show, what what would it what would it entail? Just like off off of, off the cuff, make it as dumb or as make it as dumb as you want. Hmm, like, mm, a serious object show. Yeah, I have actually discussed an object show with one of my friend, my online friends, uh, Dawn. Uh, she uh, her her username is like Shimzo. And we were talking about doing a show together that was more on the serious side. I, I don't know how to describe how it would have looked. We were thinking like annoying orange where we actually like take pictures of our like my kitchen and we put the characters on there. It would be a lot of visual work, but we thought of the idea like last year. Hmm. But that's that's the closest I've gotten to like doing ever, like a serious show. Will it ever happen? Maybe I I definitely want to finish BFDRR before I like tackle another project like another like serious project. Yeah, and even then I might never do it, and it will never see the light of day. But hopefully not, because it's it's a good idea. It's a cool idea. Yeah. Everybody likes to talk about BFDI being the first object show. Annoying <laughs> Orange was really the first object show. <laughs> it's true, Annoying Orange. I used, I used to be an annoying orange kid. I, I, I will know. admit. I did. I was as well. I showed my grandpa um, ask orange, and he was just like so confused. That's that's like the problem with like like the old five episodes of the FDRR is that when I was thirteen, I showed my parents those episodes, and they were very confused. But they actually watched this sixth one recently and they really they, they were they were following along completely and that i think that's great because people who like have no idea what like the context is they watch it they're still laughing at things that are happening mm -hmm. and <laughs> I, I i just think it's great why is there so much screaming <laughs> oh i that's one of the things I regret from the original series. Is that it's, it's, it's so loud at times. Except in the first episode is very quiet. And the other four, the four old ones, have a lot of screaming. Especially from one of the old contestants, Tweeny. There's a lot of this, there's a lot of this screaming in all the episodes. Mm -hmm. Like there's at least one scream an episode from him. And I just thought it was funny at the time. But I mean, I think the idea that the voice actor was able to make those noises is a little funny but i hey guy hey wish any I object like show creators if you want me to uh voice act on your object show uh hit me up i'll be sure to boost this video on my channel oh thank you that actually really when it comes out really cool yeah it'll be out tomorrow um we're recording wow, this wow. On okay tuesday. we're recording this on tuesday and uh it's it'll be out wednesday i'm doing an i'm doing an episode every wednesday now that is that is cool. I'll be sure to boost you. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, all right. Um, what would you say to somebody who's literally never heard of your show before? Um, hmm. It, that's hard because it requires context from like BFDI for like some of the like Robati, obviously, and Eraser Robati is like a fused a fusion of two characters. So let's say it, it's a little hard. Yeah. Let's say, let's say that they know what BFDI is. Oh, okay. Then, um, I would just say it's, I guess it's a satire of object shows. I'm in still in the sixth episode. It's, I still consider it to be a, a satire on object shows, mm -hmm. but I would just say it's, it's jokey. I would, it's not like. It's 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 not like a very fast paced object show, but it's still like, it's still got jokes in there. It's got a lot of culture references, 
and it was made by a bunch of kids and then later on was made by a bunch of adults. <laughs> what do you hope to do in the OSC someday? I mean, I already did. <laughs> it's just this. Well, like, like in the future, like, like after BFD, you after BFD or... RR, I yeah. think I'll just continue yeah. supporting my friends' shows. Like, uh, one of my closest friends from this community, uh, Xander, he does Battle for Cashins McGriddle. I just want to continue supporting what my friends do. I mean, one of my friends is working on a show she says it's going to be the best topic show ever and i am just i i think i'll just be here to support i don't know if i'll be m making much content after bhr ror because i don't know how people would be like interested in it honestly i well, I, mean, I i, I, I sorry sorry no you can go i put my i think i think i put my my chips in the what am i saying i i put my i put my content out there already and i'm still doing the content that i've always wanted to do so i think i am pretty content with where i am how long does the average episode take hmm okay let me do a little calculation here the first and the fourth episodes took 20 days because i remember finishing episode four early and getting the luxury to rewatch it for 10 days it's like one of the short, those are the two shortest episodes. So those two took 20 days. Episodes two and three, they took the entire month to do. I was, I remember like doing scenes the day it was uploaded for like episode one. Cause like we, we, I did the, we were in Vegas on the 9th of June and I did the intro on the 9th. I sent out lines on the 10th, got them all by like the 12th. And me and uh, Chroma, who voices Mountainy still, uh, we we basically did most of the animation for the entire five episode run. Mm -hmm. Episode five, however, <laughs> is the is the first episode to be delayed by over almost two, like almost a month, and it's because of unforeseen circumstances I've discussed before, but. Basically, we it literally actually just took that long to do, like all the animation, and it sucks because it's not even it's the worst episode, and, and I hate that it took that long to put that out because that I think that episode is what kind of got my demotivation to start the series is because of how long it took and the reception it got, which was not it was not great when it came out. Was it reception like like? how many views it got or like or like how many people like, oh no it, it got it got the most views out of all it's like it's got the second most right now i'm just talking about like critical like people in yeah, the comments right. yeah what was uh, what was the uh what made it so bad there's a lot of like there's a lot of plots there that i people didn't enjoy like they didn't they didn't enjoy the the mountainy like being called a murder plot and i i i'm glad that I, like it's kind of retired now because it it was really just going to go nowhere because i was mm -hmm. 14 years old when that was written and the ball and robotic plot line i think that just needed like a complete restructuring in episode 6 which which it which it is but that was also just going to go nowhere and there's like randomly there's like, there's, like a delta rune reference like there for some reason there is like just 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 a lot of old like jokes that it it, it mm -hmm. how do I summarize this it ages the worst out of all the other episodes it ages like milk but that's uh, all the questions I have uh, I forgot I have a couple more from other from viewers believe it Whoa. or not from I get from uh, viewers so. I'm just gonna, um, I am just gonna read them. So, Peace the Weirdo asks, do you like gay people? Irradiation asks, is the plot from the, B is the plot from BFTROR, uh, 6 plus trailer canceled? The episode 6 itself seems to take a pretty different direction, so I'm curious to know. Um, what's, what's this user's name? 
Irradiation. Okay, Irradiation. BTR or 6 Plus was a joke from the beginning. Like, from conception to, to, to when it was published. I was never going to continue that in any shape or form. I just wanted to make something cool. And I thought it was funny that people were like, Welcome back! This show's gonna be so good! And I was just laughing to myself because it's just never it was just never gonna happen. But there was not really going to be a plot line. I mean there's not like any plot line like visible in the trailer. I I I really just had no idea how to continue it until March of twenty twenty three. And that's when I wrote the script. Hmm. Alright. Neil Han asks what is your social security number um unfortunately i just don't have it i don't remember it but i'll give you a hint <laughs> um congratulations your hint is it, <laughs> it's all right your hint is got numbers in it and it's 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 not that long but I think if you just keep guessing all the numbers, like start like with like zero 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 one, and if that doesn't work, go up by one, go zero 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 two. Going to be here till the end of time. Eventually, you will hit it. It's true. All right. Uh, cutie kitty, and a baller asks them to uh, say hi. So. Uh, hello, cutie kitty, and a baller. Um. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Hello. I hope you're having a good day, and I hope you are watching this. And that that will officially be it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if Tortle has anything left he wants to say. Um, okay. <sighs> Episode 7 might come out October. That is, that is a guess, not a guarantee. And, uh, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.